Did you know the mummification process in ancient Egypt was a complex and ritualistic procedure designed to preserve the bodies of the deceased for the afterlife? The practice of mummification evolved over time, and there were variations in the process depending on the time period and social status of the individual. First body preparation. The process typically began shortly after death. The body was taken to a special tent known as the Ibu for the initial embalming process. The embalmers, known as Wob priests, started by washing the body with water from the Nile to purify it. Second removal of internal organs. The brain was removed first, often through the nostrils, using special hooks. The brain was not considered important and was discarded. A small incision was made on the left side of the body, and the internal organs lungs, liver, stomach and intestines were removed. These organs were individually treated and preserved. Next process preservation of organs. The organs were dehydrated and preserved separately in canopic jars. Each jar had a lid shaped like one of the four sons of Horus, Imseti, Hapi, Duamutef and Kebesinuf. These gods were believed to protect the organs. Four number process body drying. The body cavity was filled with natrin, a naturally occurring mixture of sodium carbonate and sodium bicarbonate. This helped in the drying and preservation of the body. The entire body was covered with natrin, and the process took around 40 days. Five number process wrapping. After the drying process, the body was washed again, and oils and resins were applied to the skin to keep it supple. The body was then wrapped in linen bandages, and amulets were placed between the layers of linen to provide protection and magical assistance in the afterlife. Six number process funeral rituals. The final step involved various funeral rituals, including prayers and ceremonies conducted by priests. The wrapped mummy was placed in a series of coffins, often nested inside each other, and then placed in a tomb or burial chamber. The entire process was steeped in religious beliefs and aimed at ensuring the deceased's successful journey through the afterlife. The level of mummification and the quality of the burial goods often depended on the social and economic status of the deceased. Members of the elite classes had more elaborate mummification processes and more luxurious burial provisions compared to commoners. Thank for watch you can support me subscribe my channel. Love you all.